What's up y'all? Welcome back. Mandy with My Hectic Life Pets where we talk about all things pet and pet related. So I had a bunch of y'all out there message me that you wanted me to do a house tour. So I figured why not? So welcome to my humble abode. So in here we have my living room. It's very living room like. And I've got my secret little shoe hiding area for when people come over. I got all my little movie posters. Over here we've got more movie posters and the TV and all the games and game consoles because you just can't live without those things. So over here I got some paintings that I did and my cat tree or one of my cat trees and some cat toys. And then in here I just kind of have like a little book nook and I got some beanbag chairs and stuff. And all my little flowers going on over here. Another cat scratcher. And more cat toys. Gotta have all the cat toys. I had like two baskets of cat toys. Yeah, not all of that made it. In here we got my office. Uh, I lost my original desk, so I have a card table now. Super fancy, I know, I know. Can you handle it? Got some bar stools and my husband's jacket and some tools. And up on the bar we've got more tools because I got all the tools out. Can you tell I've been hanging pictures and stuff today? Got my little light fixtures hanging down that my husband keeps whacking his head on. I can walk right under them because I am short. Over here we got my kitchen. Nice big kitchen and Buster's dog crate, which I don't know where I want to put. I don't know where it's going to live. I don't know where it's going to live yet, but right now it lives in the kitchen. Got all my little Coke stuff because I really like any and all things like 50s or cute. Somewhere in this tank, Snowflake is hiding. I don't know where he is. Oh, I think he's hiding behind the filter. And then over here, we have the microwave, very important, and the stove. I don't know how I feel about this glass cooktop. I kind of miss my gas stove, but that's okay. Coffee pot, very important, very important. I got my island over here and my awesome new water cup that I got for Christmas. Jack Skellington, thank you. Kitchen table, not much has changed. I guess I need to take the snowman down since it's not Christmas anymore. Over here we got Hippa. Hippa's doing pretty well. And then we got the dwarf frogs, they're doing okay. And over here we got Killer. His tail is looking a little less crooked today. So that's good, that's hopeful. And then back here we've got Freddy. Freddy's fins are looking pretty terrible, but that's okay couple of weeks and I think he will heal up nicely. Got some more paintings and stuff that I did. And my Kit Kat clock. Gotta have a Kit Kat clock, right? And my awesome calendar. Sorry, not sorry. Dog shaming. Yeah, gotta love that. My other weird clock with a little girl on a swing. And more Coke memorabilia. I don't even really drink Coke. I'm more of a Dr. Pepper person, but I love the Coke stuff. I don't know. And in here we have my mishmash of a pantry, complete with litter box, because litter boxes belong in the pantry, right? I gotta get some hangers put up so that I can get this stuff off the floor. That'll be great. Yeah, my pantry is uh, food and fish stuff and cat stuff. I even have some cat bowls in here and all the dogs, toys, and treats, because it's a big pantry, so everything now lives in the pantry. We got a car and we got Marilyn over here hanging out in the kitchen. Next, we got the hallway and more paintings. In here, super exciting, the laundry room. I know no one's ever seen a laundry room before. Complete with washer and dryer and clothes. And in here, we got my kids room that um, it was clean a few minutes ago, I swear some sort of crazy YouTube video and the Wii U. We're just gonna close that door and forget exists. I got my linen closet complete with all the linens and towels and things. It's a bit of a mess, not gonna lie. 
My old linen closet was a little bit bigger, so yeah, storage is a thing. In here we got my kids' bathroom. I don't know if you can tell that she likes Shopkins. Yeah, she has like all the Shopkins. And then in here we have a very dark room, even though the light is turned on, I swear. Got the spare bedroom slash creepy doll room slash reptile type room. Moltar is back to hiding somewhere in the dirt. You can kind of see Zorak a little bit poking his head out of the dirt. Brax over there hanging out. All my tanks are like super bare right now. That's okay. My order should be coming soon from Josh's Frog so that I can get these tanks set back up properly. I got my cello over here along with some more creepy dolls. I am absolutely terrible at playing it, but I still love it anyway. Spare bed and some more paintings that I need to actually like put on the wall still. And more tools and stuff and a pillow. And now for the master bedroom. We still need to get some more shelves and things. I don't know. Um, yeah, we're using a chair and stuff as a nightstand right now. That's cool. It's whatever. My mirror. All my Salvador Dali pictures. My keyboard that I'm also great at playing terribly. Some more stuff that needs to be hung up on the walls. And of course, another TV with a million more game consoles. We, we are trying to collect every game console ever made. That's a thing. I still have my old Super Nintendo and NES and all the things. Some things you just never get rid of. I got my bookshelves with some book things. I need more bookshelves because I have like a suitcase full of books in my closet. A closet is a mess. So much stuff in this closet right now. Like it is ridiculous. It is just ridiculous. But that's okay. We got all the shelves and drawers and shoes and things. I gotta go through this. And there's the suitcase full of books. There is the suitcase full of books. If you're moving, suitcases work great for books because they have wheels. It makes life better. All my little Egyptian stuff over here. My dolphin lamp over there. And here is my bathroom. It's very bathroomy. Got some sinks going on here. And a basket of junk. We, um, we had a lot more cabinets in our last bathroom, so yeah, we need all the storage. There's gonna be a lot of buying of shelves in my future. We got a nice little shower with all the showery things. And we do have a pretty decent sized tub that I have yet to use yet, but there is plenty of space for a nice glass of wine in here, which is fantastic. And then out here we have our backyard. It is super plain right now and I lost all my patio furniture in the move so gotta buy some new patio furniture and I need to do some serious weeding but that's okay because this is gonna be a huge project. Out in this corner is where I want to put the pond and then I want to put a like nice really beautiful garden around the pond area. And then over on this corner, I want to build like a mini permaculture farm area over here. So I want to grow some, you know, grow a nice vegetable garden and stuff over on this side. So I think it's going to be really nice and it'll be great once I get some patio furniture up in here too. So yeah, it's a pretty plain Jane backyard right now. Got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. And here's a Buster, wondering what I'm doing with the camera. Wondering why I'm not coming outside to play with him. Love you, Buster. I'll come out soon. I promise. And then we got Penny hanging out by the back door. Wondering why she can't go outside and be a wild cat. There's coyotes in our neighborhood. No outdoor kitty for you. And through this door we have the garage, aka my temporary dumpster. Yeah, we, uh, we've been doing a lot of unpacking, if you can't tell. This is all the packing materials in garbage bags. 
Yeah. I foresee a lot of trips to the dump in our near future, like this weekend. Somewhere under there is my husband's motorcycle. Can you see it? It's like, where's Waldo? Where's the motorcycle? So anyway, guys, yeah, that is my new house. And I do need to switch out a lot of this lighting because it is making me very yellow. But that's okay. I've got a lot of things going on, a lot of future plans, and also, there's a bunch of aquariums pretty close by me, so I will definitely be checking those out soon. So anyway, guys, that's all I really have for y'all today. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!